Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to transfer photos from your iPad Pro to your MacBook. So it doesn't matter what MacBook you have, it really just needs to be a model which was made in the last 10 years. So what you need to do is on the iPad Pro itself, we're going to uh, see here at the top right, we're just going to swipe down with one finger. So slide and release from the top right, like so. And once you've done that, you should see the control center. From here, I want you to long press on this uh, area and make sure airplane mode is turned off. You're going to tap into uh, airdrop here and make sure airdrop is selected as everyone. So if it's on contacts only, tap onto it again, then select everyone. Now on the MacBook itself, you can do a similar deal. You're going to click into this icon here and then you're going to see airdrop. Click into that. And make sure this is also set to everyone and that it's turned on as well. Now, if you don't have this control center icon, that means you're running an older version of macOS. The solution is search for AirDrop, like so. So AirDrop, enter, and then you see, allow me to be discovered by, click on this, and then set this to everyone. And that will also turn on AirDrop as well if you have the older Macs. So with AirDrop, we can easily transfer photos and videos as well from my iPad, uh, well, your iPad to uh, Mac. I use this all the time. This is how I make videos. I'm recording on my iPhone and I airdrop all the videos from my iPhone over. Well, of course, this works on the iPad as well. So how do you use this? Well, it's quite simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna head over to photos and you're gonna tap into select here and you just select all the photos you want. Now, tapping one by one, this is slow. So obviously you don't wanna do that. You may, if you need to just select, let's say like this one, this one, this one, okay. But if you wanna select a bunch of photos at once, Get one finger, hold and slide. So we'll just hold and slide. So don't tap like so, like tap and release. Hold and slide like so. And make sure that the hold is a brief one. If you hold for too long, you get this. Well, you heard me the app crashed, but if we just go here, hold and slide quickly, and that will do a whole row. Hold and slide, and then move your finger up. And you can see the application moves up. And if you hold your finger down, moves the application down. So you can see Apple has thought of it. And if you have a ton of photos, you want to transfer everything, <laughs> it will take a while. So let's say, in fact, I'm just going to do like that. So you can see I've done three. Tap on the share. Airdrop. And you should see your device shop right here. Now, if you aren't signed into the same iCloud account, there'll be another section. And it won't have that nice, you know, that Mac icon. But for me, it does because the, uh, both devices are signed into the same iCloud account. So we'll just tap into it. And just like that, the airdrop should work. So if you, you can see it, airdrop received three photos, just like that. If for whatever reason, uh, you know, you, you, uh, you don't see that, it will probably ask you for permission to send the airdrop over. That's most likely because both devices aren't signed into the same iCloud account. Just click on, you know, save, and then you'll be good to go. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.